Hi there, welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Today, a focus on the 17-year-old junior from the United States, coached by Bob Corby. He's outside of the U.S. system. Uh, Bob has coached Bonnie Blair, Dan Jansen, Nick Thomas, just sprint legends in Bob's career. Now he's coaching Jordan. And Jordan had a great race today. And by the way, before I start, I wanted to say I, I did a video about 25 minutes ago of Jordan's race, a five-minute analysis of it, and I was blocked worldwide by front info front sports. So hopefully this one will make it out there. I'll bust it up a little more instead of showing you. If you want to see his full race, um, you can see that wherever that's not copyrighted on the ISU channel or something else, but I can't rebroadcast it. So what I'm going to do now is just... Um, I can't show you the flavor of his timing in real time, but I just want to show you um, his turns and his straightaways and his last and his uh, last turn as well. So let's see, he's coming down the hundred. He has a good hundred nine six, which is um, and Joel Dufter out of Insel, my favorite little town in Insel, in Germany. Um, but what we want to see here is the setup to the turn, just outstanding setup. Lateral compression, we've discussed that before. You want your knees to be really close to each other. You don't want to be bowing out. You want to rely on this. And it becomes like a pulley system. This glute and this skate, you should feel pressing down into the ice and pulling. That pressure should pull the recovery forward. You're not thinking these are separate parts, one, two. No, they're, they're together. It's synergistic, so work it together as Jordan does so well here. Great drive forward. Look at the blade angle. He's not even in the outer turn yet, and excellent. So gets a ton out of his pushes, exhausts his push before it's done, before he sets down the other skate. So just very clean timing and lots and lots of power and great angles. I mean, this is just, it's it's better than textbook. It's it's really good, especially how tall he is and how much he can get out of his, out of his stride. So just really excellent turns. Power exit here, right into that straightaway. And what I want to show you about a straightaway is something unique to him. And you notice we've discussed how you really want to get out over that skate. You want to have your head out here. Notice where Jordan's is. Excellent. Now he comes through. Also excellent. Watch. No break of the line here. None. Very, very good. Very few skaters can do this. And Jordan does it. You know what else he does well? He goes basically much straighter than other sprinters. Look at Kai Verbai or Dai Dai Natab or some other people. They're all they're more all over the ice. They have effective technique and they're great sprinters. But they're going further from A to B than Jordan is. And I believe that's the strength Jordan has. So he's cleaner on his skates. He's cleaner on the ice. This blade is less on the outer at set down. So he can turn it over, and because he's left this push so early, he's out over this skate, and he can come right back. So that's a great thing about his straightaway. He's cleaner, straighter, and so early, driving right through. Excellent entry here. He's almost on the outer blocks. But in Calgary, when you're, the ice is fast, that's what you want to do. So he's already got a great lean into that turn. And I want to show you his exit for a not... Uh, a junior who's new at senior competition, he navigates this turn really, really well. He comes out with a lot of speed. Only three, two skaters had a faster lap than Jordan, and um, he's an up-and-comer for sure. So hope you enjoyed that video. Hope it'll make it onto YouTube and learn a lot from this skater. He's fantastic to watch and, and just a beautiful skater. I'll see you next time on Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Thanks.